hello guys welcome to the other session for javascript so in this session we are going to learn about function invocation and execution stack in javascript so in our previous sessions we have talked about execution context so multiple execution context comes over and they will found uh, they will found uh, execution stack so this is a concept for a multiple execution con uh, context being created by JavaScript engine and those ex execution context group uh, grouped together and they will found execution stack. So that's a very fundamental and important concept in JavaScript. So either you are working on Angular or either you are working on React.js. So this is a very fundamental core concept of JavaScript, which is being executed and uh, maintained by JavaScript engines. So we will be talking about two things in this session. First is function invocation. That's kind of a calling mechanism for functions. This is a very basic concept in JavaScript. But another thing which is execution stack in JavaScript, that's a very core concept and a fundamental concept in JavaScript. So let's take a look on how execution stack is been working and function invocation is been working in JavaScript. So let's go. So function invocation and uh, function invocation is the uh, calling mechanism and uh, inside the JavaScript things. So let's little bit move on uh, coding thing. So, yep. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have, uh, as you can see, we have uh, this application uh, which has been which have one index.html file and one app.js file. So here I am being uh, removing all of the things to understand function invocation. So what is the function invocation, right? So function invocation is assume that I have a function, uh, I have a function in my JavaScript file, right? which will have to do something and i have also a function uh, i have also a, another function which is function a which and assume that we are being uh, calling this function b inside the function a right so this is a function b and we have another function function a which is being executing function b right so this is the uh, invoking uh, function invocation. So function invocation. Right. So now once once this code will be going to run in our JavaScript engine. So first of all, the global context will be created. And as this function A and function B, function B and function A are on the global level, so two uh, execution context will be created. One execution, uh, the, on, on the very first level, global execution will going to create. And on the second level, we will have a global execution, uh, we will have a execution context for method A and execution context for method B. Both of those are, both of them will be created and those two will be going to attached with our global, uh, with our global execution context. So for function invocation for testing purposes, uh, we have to call that method. So B method is called inside A, but this code will not be going to run because we, we didn't called any of method and we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, uh, written any of the line for print mechanism like console.log. So there, there will be no any output. So we have to call that method A, right? Once we will be call our method A, so as in our, as in our uh, expected behavior, what we'll be going to do is this function A will be, once this code will be going to be attached in our JavaScript engine, and it will be running. So on the very first level, ex global execution context will be going to create. And one execution context is being created for B and one execution context is being created for A. So now execution context are being created. So on this level, the function A will be going to invoke. This is also a function invocation. Function invocation is a very uh, simple uh, 
mechanism like it's uh, in simple words we can say like we have a we have a method and we are calling that method so calling that method is a function invocation concept it's uh, like inside function a we are being invoking function b and after that in end we are being invoking function a so that's a very uh, pretty simple concept so i think you guys can understand that one but for uh, for taking a look on global execution context and how this uh, context is being created so i will have to uh, take you guys to the browser so to taking a look so now if i'm writing this here so in the global execution context if you can see we have two methods in this file function a and function b so once that code will uh, once that code ran in javascript engine so what javascript engine did it created a global execution context a window object and inside that window object the normal execution context are being attached one context execution context is for function a and another execution context is for b method so this is how uh, and now uh, these two execution context A and B, these two are attached with our global execution context. So in this manner, this is a stack. This is the concept for execution uh, stack. So we will be going to take a look on that in detail. But uh, for that mechanism, I was uh, I was assume you guys to understand this function invocation thing simply. So in deeper details, we will be going to taking a look on that fun execution stack now. So. Yep, let's move on that part. Right, so <clears throat> now we will be going to taking a look on uh, that code base we are having with. So let me, let me, uh, like, okay. So this, uh, th this was the code base we were understanding uh, for function invocation, but with this same code base, we are going to understand how execution context and how execution context is been uh, working with execution stack, the found execution stack. So I have created a PNG image. So for better understanding, this one, if you guys can see on my screen. So once this code will be going to run in JavaScript engine, a global execution context is being created. At the very bottom level, you can see global execution context. So it's been created and code is being executed. So once once code will be going to execute, so they will create execution context for method A, and they will also create a execution context for method B, and both of them are being attached with our global execution context, as I have uh, as I have shown you guys with here with the, this object here A is being attached and B is being attached. So this is how this image is representing, right? So now. As, as more execution context are being created, so they will they will create a stack. Like on the very first level, global execution. So then after we have uh, we have uh, why why this uh, execution context A come just above global execution context? Why? So this is a question. So answer is we have invoked a function A on very first level on line number twenty two. You can say we didn't call method B add below we didn't invoke that function we invoked which method we invoked a method so once that method will be going to in representation of javascript engine so calling of that method or invocation of that method will be going to create a execution context first and then after that execution context will be finished over like if i'm taking an example of a is being created execution context and b execution context is being created now, whatever should be at the top, they will be going to execute line by line, right? So the, on the very first level, B, B execution context will going to run and uh, it will have to finish. Why? Because on the very first level, A execution context is being created. So that has been created and it's been executed. So once it will start executing on line number 19, it recognizes that and other function is being invoked, which is function B. So, so then after above execution context A, and other stack item is being attached with is which is for execution context B, right? So whenever now it is being created, and once this B is being executed, so it found nothing inside the method. So it's been finished over. 
so on that level now b execution context this this item will be going to remove from this stack so now only two items will be remaining in execution stack one is the execution context for a now it's been executed so inside a so it's also been it, it's already been uh, executed so it's also been going to remove from this stack so now only the global execution context will be inside the code so once it will be start running so whatever the variables and functions are on the global level so they will be going to execute at this level got my point so this stack will come over step by step so once the function is been invoked so on that invocation execution context is been attached in our execution stack right then after an other invocation comes so it will also going to attach an execution context in our stack so then after it will start executing and it will be popping out that item from the stack so this is how execution stack comes over right so now <clears throat> we have also uh, another example uh, in our code base so let's talk about that one in more deeper and that will uh, help you guys to understand that thing more better way so now i am moving that function a right so i am moving that function a uh, above the b so i have been called uh, method b here and i am uh, i am declaring a variable which is called c right and inside this function b which is empty i am been creating a variable d right so now after that function invocation on line number 12 i i am again declaring a variable d right so with with the help of this a uh, little bit of a little bit of complex um, uh, mechanism in program we will be going to learn about execution context in more deeper so now uh with the help of this uh let's let's understand uh, this example with our with with our code base uh, with, with with the image but let's uh, let's first of all run this to understand how it's been sorry okay so now here if you can see we have a method a we have a method b and we also have uh, some variables which will be uh, which which will be here uh, with the name of uh, the and maybe okay so this is this is how the uh, variables are being going to be attached here so if you can uh, search out that var c sorry c not var so that's kind of uh, more C's, but inside that frame we will be uh, we will be going uh, going to have that. But okay, uh, don't let's not dig into that concept. But let's understand that one with the image. So this is uh, as you guys can see the screen. Uh, so fun execution. So this this was the example, a more deeper example uh, to just understand the concept. So we will be going to taking a look on on this one so <clears throat> function a function b and all so once uh, once this program will be going to run in our javascript engine so uh, so uh, global execution context is being created on the very first level and on the second level uh, when it called function invocation of method a it below all of the functions so a is being invoked so once it is once it will be going to invoke uh, execution context it's being created for function a so now it's been created and now it will be it will be going to execute now so once it start executing it will found an other function invocation for function b inside function a right so now which is what let me let me taking a look on that one to understand more clear way give me a second okay here right so now when, when when on line number 12 if you can see on line number 12 once a is been uh, one once a will be going to invoke so it will start creating the execution context for a and once execution context is being created it's start executing so it's it start executing from line number three here 
So once it start executing, it found another function invocation, which will be going to create another execution context here, the B in the stack you can see. So these three items, global execution context, execution context for A, execution context for B. This is a whole stack. So now first global execution context is being created. Once it found A is being invoked on line number 12, it executed a context, which is for A. So it is start executing now. It's been created and it's been executing. So once it start executing, it will be going to go on line number three. So when it start, so it found another invocation for B. So then it create another execution context for B method. So once it will start executing <coughs> the B method, then it will be going to go here, right? So it will be going to create what? It will be going to create now. Once it will be created, so now it will be going to execute this var D line. So once it will be finished, so B execution context will be pop out from this execution stack. So now only A is remaining. So it will again come on line number five because four is being finished and popped out. So on line number five, it will start running this line var C, right? So it, it means what? function a is being like this execution context is also executed so this will also popped out from the stack so only global execution context will lie in this stack so above both two will run in this mechanism so at the end this line number 13 will be going to run because this whole loop was inside this a invocation so this is how function invocation works so I have uh, wrote down in uh, deeper, uh, I have wrote down a detailed article on hash notes. So I will be going to, uh, I will be going to add that article URL in YouTube description. You guys can take a look on more deeper. So if you guys have any other more questions or if you want to understand this concept in more deeper, so you guys can reach me out on my Twitter, which is developer Orium. So here you can found this uh, hashtag. Uh, this is found, you can found that tag developer Orium. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching this uh, session.